So today's vlog is going to be a little different from my other artsy autism mom. This is just going to be a cut to the chase, really kind of like a rant that I already uploaded to TikTok. And I said, let me go ahead and bring it to my YouTube audience as well. So here it goes. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all on the other side. So there's a dark side of autism that people don't like to talk about. The part that manifests itself in a way that is very not like your child, even when they become an adult. And it is a meltdown. Now this dark side, it's not a happy time for you or your kid, especially if we're talking about them as an adult, having an adult meltdown. And for those of you who don't know, it sometimes can look just like a child melting down. They can lash out. Um, they can do the same things that you are used to seeing a two-year-old do is a tantrum, but you're talking about somebody who is over the age of 18, sometimes over the age of 30. But in my case, my son is 27, almost 28. And we haven't had this kind of situation with him in, in, in quite some time. Now he is an adult, on the spectrum that is not on meds. We, we tried the meds when he was a teenager and it made him into the sad fat kid. And my son's naturally not fat and he's definitely not sad. So he's a non-meds person. By his choice, and mine. Now, one of the primary reasons that he is a non-meds person is because the majority of the meds that they have for those on the autism spectrum are, are meds for um, people who have mental issues um, in the DSMR-5. Because unfortunately, that's what they got. They don't have anything that's just special for our our kids, whether they're kids or adults. And many will turn to self-medication versus the meds. My son doesn't self-medicate. The only things that my son um, takes is melatonin to help him to sleep and occasionally CBD to help to calm and not be anxious, which is something that is common among individuals on the autism spectrum. The difficulty for me and for my son when he has these meltdowns is because he is not as verbal as some other adults on the spectrum and he has a difficult time articulating why he's upset and what's causing him to lash out and attack someone else. It can be frustrating for me because it's really a guessing game as to what the trigger was. And if I'm not there when it happens, 
then I have to kind of go off of third party information and what he can explain to me. But we don't talk about this. We, we don't. It's like the dirty little secret in the autism community. The meltdowns that happen to the adult population that they sometimes can't control, unfortunately. And, you know, the fear of it becoming a legal situation, perhaps. (sighs) Anyway, I just wanted to kind of do a, I don't know, a vent and story time at the same time about autism life and how it sometimes is when you are the caregiver for an adult on the spectrum. I'll see you guys later. Peace and blessings. Bye. If you guys are not following me on my other social media, please do so. Here's Instagram, Twitter, or X, and TikTok. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and blessings. Bye.